Hello and welcome to this course on how to create your generative art collection using Bueno. On this lesson, we're going to learn how to deploy your smart contract from zero to the whole thing. So here you are in Bueno and you have your collection and you have everything ready, all your traits, all your rarity, you have some custom tokens, you have everything set up and now you're ready to launch your collection. So to do that, well, go to the launch tab. Now here you're going to see that there are different things that you can do. You can download your artwork. You can also just start with your smart contract. So to that, let's go and manage our contract. Okay, so here's where you set up your smart contract. You're going to see that on the left, you have all your information. And then on the right, you have something like a preview that allows you to see how your collection is going to look like once you start setting up all the different details. So the first thing is just the basic contract info. So on the contract name, I want my contract name to be called Bun Solos. Now the token symbol, this is kind of like what the stock market uses. Like for example, Apple is APPL and you can add a token symbol to your smart contract. So for example, I'm going to say that this one is called Buns. Usually it's between three and four characters. Now you're going to select your network, Ethereum or Polygon. I'm going to leave it on default and I'm just going to set it on Ethereum. And now let's continue. Now we get into the pricing and phases. This is where you start setting some rules on your contract. For example, if there are any limits on per wallet, do you want to set a maximum per wallet? For example, since this is a small collection, I want to set a maximum of only two, a maximum of two per wallet. Also, you can add minting phases. This means that there's going to be one phase for example, in which you want to give a specific price to specific people. For example, I want this to be for people who have humankind launch boxes and humankind collectibles. For that, I already took a snapshot, so I'm going to add a minting phase just for those people. So I'm going to say add, and I'm going to say, hey, this is the humankind phase. And I'm going to say that the supply is the whole thing, 666. And now what is the price? You can set a price and now I'm going to say, I'm going to set it at 0.001 or 0.006. There you go. Uh, and now per wallet maximum, I'm going to say just like as before, only two per wallet. And there's going to be an allow list. So I'm going to add an allow list. Now, an allow list means that certain people get to mint in this phase. So how do you create a list? You can just say, A, here, create a new list. And here, you're going to have different options. I'm going to call this the humankind list. And you can upload a CSV or you can do it manually. You can even just copy paste different Ethereum addresses here, or you can just like, I don't know if you know them, you can type them. That will be a little bit too much, but I already have a CSV ready, so I'm just going to upload it. So I'm going to press here and I'm going to go to my folder and I have this. So you can see that I have all my holders in one snapshot that I took. So I'm going to say yes, open, and it seems like it's getting a lot of addresses. It even was smart enough to skip some of the addresses because there were duplicates. So 378 were invalid or were duplicate addresses. Pretty good, bueno. So let's create a new allow list. There you go. So now I have my minting phase ready. It has different rules, it has a name, and it even has an allow list. So I'm going to add the phase. Now, for the public sale, you can also set a public sale and for that, you can set a different price. So for example, on the minting phase, it had a cheaper price and on the public sale, maybe the public sale is going to be a little bit more expensive. So we got this, now let's continue. Now we got to the revenue split and royalties. Now this can be scary, right? Who is going to get what? What is going on here? By default, it already gives the money to the wallet that is creating this whole thing, which 
is you. Your wallet is already going to get everything. So you can see here a preview. Now, if you have other people that you want to add to your revenue split, for example, someone else in your team, you want to give them a, a specific percentage, you can do that here. You can just add their wallet and then it will just sum up automatically to 100%. Now, here's where you set the royalties. For example, the royalties that are going to be for every secondary sell, you get a percentage as an artist. I usually set 5%, so I'm going to set it. And that is part of a smart contract. That gets written on the blockchain. So that's really important. Now, there's this thing that says enforce royalties. This is so OpenSea can enforce the royalties on your smart contract. It automatically takes the 5% and puts it there and also does some things where some marketplaces that don't enforce royalties, hey, this enforces that. So I'm going to turn it on because, hey, this is pretty cool. I want to enforce the royalties and I want to keep my 5%. Now, this is really cool. This is where you can say if you want some delayed reveal because you don't want people to know right away what they got. If you want that, you can say delayed reveal and you can even add an image so people can see something before they actually see the last thing. I'm going to turn it off, but if you want to, you can just turn it on and even add an image right here. For example, this one, if I were to add this, I could just add it there. But hey, remember, this is an actual 101, so I'm going to turn it off. So I'm going to turn it off and delayed reveal is that. Now, burnable tokens, hey, this is just something that gets added to the contract that you can use later. I'm going to say that yes, these are going to be burnable tokens and I'm going to continue. And oh my God, so many steps, but we're here. We're ready to deploy our contract. And for that, we need to generate a token set. That means that it's going to create for me the 666 tokens so it can generate the token set. So I'm going to just go for it, ready to generate. You can preview, you can export settings, all the different settings that you have to be sure before you deploy it. So let's go. Now here, it even gives you a preview of how the token set is going to look. So if everything is looking good, let's continue. Now here, it's even giving you some export settings. Be sure to just check all the little details. Is the metadata correct? Is the image, the attributes all correct? Is the token external URL, is everything okay? If you want to edit something, you can just do that. But I warn you, I wouldn't do that. I will just leave the defaults as they are. So let's continue with these settings. And now the metadata preview, this is how your token is going to look and you can see the metadata next to it. You can just like, hey, even download a sample. If you want to, you can just like download a sample and just check it out on your computer. But for me, hey, everything is looking great. So I'm going to continue, looks great. Now, shuffle the tokens. Do you want to shuffle the tokens? Because there was a preview and you can see token one, what it is, token two, what it is. So I would say, yes, shuffle them just to guarantee randomness so let's continue again and this is it we are ready we are ready to launch this you will be prompted to pay 0 0.0666 now this is where you pay and you are paying 0 0.0001 ethereum per token generated so you just have to guarantee that on your wallet you have this amount so you can continue so i'm going to pay eth and generate okay so we're here and as you can see, it's generating the token set. This usually takes, uh, I don't know, like 10, 20 minutes, depending on the size of your collection, because it's actually creating the images of each token. Just let that run in the background. And on the next lesson, we're actually going to deploy our contract to testnet, and then later to the real net, to mainnet. Oh my God.